Hey guys, ooh, my hair. Welcome back to my channel. It's the makeup of Moni. And today I wanted to film, well, it's the same day if you watch my makeup tutorial. And at least I changed my shirt. The point, today I'm filming a, a hair tutorial. This is my second hair tutorial on my channel, but this is gonna be how I style my lace front wig. I do these like flexi rod curls slash curl wand curls and then I flexi rod them. But everybody asks me how I do it, what iron do I use, how long does it last, how do I curl it. <laughs> so I'm coming to y'all with this video. Hopefully y'all learn from it because sometimes I suck at giving directions. But it's also a visual thing. If you haven't subscribed already but you're watching this video, I don't know what you're doing. Guess I'm gonna just wait for you to subscribe. Okay, so hopefully you just subscribe and we can get on with this video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is spray my entire head of hair or wig, okay, with some heat protectant and it's by Tresemme. This is the Tresemme heat protectant up to 450 degrees. Okay, it's called the Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is the only heat protectant I use. It's bomb. I use it on my real hair too if I put heat in it and yeah. I just brush it all through the hair. Oh, if you wanna know where this hair is actually from, I will leave that information down in the description box, as well as the heat tamer information and whatever else I use, y'all know me. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna do a middle part. This is not the comb for it, so don't follow me. But um, yeah. I'm gonna do a middle part with these curls. That's usually how I do it anyway. Okay, I changed my mind because I change my part so often. Maybe I shouldn't do a middle part. I'm just gonna freestyle these curls and then be able to flip them whatever way I want to. So yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I do is section off my hair. So I usually start all my curling from the bottom. So I'll just like take like, right where my ear is. This is the curling wand I'll be using. It is by PYT. I will leave all the information down below. I just take a piece of hair. I'm gonna take about this much hair and curl wand it backwards. And I twist my hair as I go around the barrel. So let's see, let me zoom in so you guys can. Like every time I go under the barrel, I twist my hair, twist around, twist around, twist around, around. I just do that because it gives that, I don't actually know what it gives, but my curls come out popping. That's all I know. And this thing gets hot as heck really fast, so I don't really have to hold it that long. I think I hold it for like, since I've been talking, it's been about five seconds. So maybe five more seconds, four, three, two, one, one and a half. I don't know, let's see. I'm scared because this joint gonna be so hot when it drops. Ooh, but it's cute. Uh, 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 uh. This is the curl, bang, 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 bang. This joint is hot as crap. Okay, we gonna do it one more time. Okay, I know I just jumped super close and probably got a little bit brighter, but I turned up the brightness and I turned up my ring light and I just wanted you guys to be able to see exactly what I'm doing with this wand curl. So I'm bringing her back. I'm taking a piece of hair 
and like I said, I'm going to place the curling wand on top of the hair and bring it that back just like that and then slide it down and then twist and then go back over the curly wand. Be careful not to burn your hand, I almost just did that. Hold on, there we go, twist, there we go, twist, over. And you see how like that piece of hair I'm holding is actually twisted, like that's what I mean. And then I go around, twist, go around, and just hold it. Or release slowly. And just. Okay. There's the curl we want. Now that we pretty much know, or you guys pretty much know how to do this, I'm going to speed up the clips because you guys really don't need to see the same process over and over. I'm pretty sure it's going to get boring. So yeah. Okay, so now that I'm at the top of my head, basically, I'm going to split it in the middle, even though I know I said I wasn't going to do the middle part. I'm going to split it in the middle. And put this side over here. And then just do this side. Now, I know I look crazy, but let me show y'all how I like finesse this. So the first thing that I do to finesse this hair is run my fingers through all the curls because they're kind of uniform and tight right now and I don't want them to be. I just wanted them to hold the actual curl pattern, but I don't want them to be super duper tight. Now that I've done that, I take um, a little bit of bio silk. I have the tiniest bottle. I know, so ratchet squeeze like that much on my hand lather it up my hands and just start running it through the hair as well so like I'm just gonna push the hair back don't mind my annoying a frontal that don't want to stay down let me be great to finish up the look because i have to finesse my frontal part um and then do my baby hair so let's take care of that i'm going to use some true match super blendable powder i kind of finesse my part so y'all can see what's going on here Okay, that's what we're gonna work with today. So since I have finessed my part, now let's move on to the baby hairs. Um, how I do my baby hairs is with Eco Styler Gel, Argan Oil, and any type of mousse, like that. I get a toothbrush, and the first thing I do is first I brush out all the edges that I do have, or fake baby hairs that I do have, so here we go.
Okay, most of the baby hairs are brushed. So I'm gonna take some mousse and just start creating the baby hairs that I want. Okay guys, that took forever. But once I have them kinda how I want them, cause it's not gonna lay completely cause it's just mousse so it's kinda watery. I take the Eco Styler Gel and then I go on top of the swoops and like really set them in place. I'm telling y'all, when y'all see this finished look, y'all like, girl, you, you the finesse queen. Like y'all gotta give me props. That looks about right. Oh, I'm not feeling the middle part. I'm not, it's, it's not doing it for me. But thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Everything I used in this video, including this hair on my head that was giving me a hard time throughout the whole video. I'm going to leave the details below in the description box so you know where to find them. Make sure you watch any more of my other videos, including this makeup look that I recorded beforehand. So check that out. I'll leave everything over here so you can subscribe to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you did like it. Please share it if you'd love to. I'd love to be featured on the Explore page. And yes, thanks guys for watching. See y'all in the next one.